This week, there was new scrutiny on Biden's Treasury Department for allegedly putting a target on the backs of MAGA Republicans and tracking sensitive banking information as part of its investigation into January 6. Terms like Trump, MAGA, and even Bass Pro Shops were reportedly flagged to the federal government. Rock musician and lifelong outdoorsman Ted Nugent joins me now. And Ted, before I get your take, I just want to show everybody again how Secretary Yellen ignored Hillary Vaughn's questions. Secretary Yellen, this is an issue that Americans are worried about. They think that they are being targeted because of who they voted for or what their religion is or where they shop. What do you have to say to Americans? I'm, say I'm not taking questions. Will you take a picture? But Secretary Yellen, can you at least have any words of assurance to Americans who are worried about them? Teachers, you bet. Let's do it. So she won't answer questions. She will take a picture. Um, and this went on for a few days this week. And I'm just curious what you're hearing from other gun owners of America and their concerns about what's happening or not at Treasury. Well, you know, jackbooted thuggery can come in the forms of high tech and that these uh, oath violators continue to turn uh, this once great country into a, an evil empire. I mean, she's just a, a bad, bad infringer. That What they're doing, Dana, they are violating their constitutional oath. I've taken that constitutional oath for 39 years as a sheriff deputy, and I know good over evil. I'm just a guitar player. But for the author of Wango Tango to have to actually describe what what infringement means, this is just a terrible, terrible time. They are engineering recidivism. They are not charging gun crimes to gun violators on film. They're, they're recreating violent crime in these sanctuary cities and the left and the Democrats. This is really, really a heartbreaking time. And uh, the gun owners of America, the National Rifle Association, all my friends, my family, my band, my crew, everybody in my life knows that self-defense is a right from God. I, we get to keep and bear arms. Keep means it's mine, you can't have it. And this high-tech infringement, we've got to put an end to this stuff. This, What they're doing is they're safeguarding criminals and they're denying good people the right to self-defense. It's so obvious that it's, it's just another criminal outrage by this government that is totally out of control. Well, we'll see what she says. I mean, the, she said that they would respond with paperwork, so we'll see if that actually <laughs> happens. I also wanted to ask you about Toby Keith, because uh, America really lost a legend this week. You got to know Toby Keith quite well over the years. It might have been an unlikely partnership, but tell us more about that. Oh, I think it was a very likely partnership because uh, Toby is an independent guy. He's got a great work ethic. He uh, stands up, promotes, and celebrates God, family, country, Constitution, Bill of Rights, Ten Commandments, Golden Rule, Declaration of Independence, work ethic, law and order, all that radical stuff that Janet Yellen and our, our unfortunate criminal government is against. So this is very poignant that we're talking about the freedom to keep and bear arms and Toby Keith because he stood up for uh, God-given individual rights as guaranteed by our sacred document, the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and we lost a great man, a great voice, a great father, a great husband, a great neighbor, a great American. He was rock solid in the asset column. But most importantly, I think, Dana, he was a funny guy. Mm. This guy lived life to the fullest. When we were in Fallujah together with the U.S. Marine Corps, it was a moment that will never leave my spirit. It bonded me and Toby and the heroes that give the sacrifice for the freedoms that Janet Yellen and Joe Biden and our government has taken away. So this is a good time to celebrate Toby Keith and everything he stood for. Indeed. Yeah. Should have been a cowboy. Wow. All right. Ted Nugent, thanks. Go have yeah. a great day. Well done. Great tribute. I am a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> dig it. Thank you, Ted. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.